I talked to you about the mechanical aspects and, and how the lance works safely. Um, now I'm going to show you how to service it. The most important part of this, as I mentioned earlier, is the strainer, which is located between the hose assembly and the valve assembly itself. To service the valve assembly, the first thing a technician has to do, or a manager, is remove the safety nut lock ring. Now this safety nut is designed to be screwed all the way in and it prevents unwanted use or action of the trigger allowing application of chemical in an unsafe manner. Well at the back of that to keep it from being screwed all the way out is a safety nut lock ring. That's fairly easy to remove by a screwdriver. And I like to work in a clean, neat environment, so I always take my parts as I lay them out or take them off in order in which they were removed. Once that safety nut lock ring is removed, you can take the safety nut all the way out. The second step in the process, Joe, is boy, too much coffee this morning, is removing the screw that holds the trigger assembly to the valve body. That's a two-part screw, one part having a barrel end acting as an axle actually, and the other, the piece that actually screws into the valve body of that. So those parts are removed, the trigger's removed. That exposes a screw that is on the back side of the cable you remember earlier in the video I showed you the cable that's working in that barrel. So the process of removing that is simply done by unscrewing this piece off of the back of that cable. A 10 millimeter wrench is used. There's two nuts. One's a lock nut and the other is actually a piece that is mated to a, uh, a seat or a uh, there's a seat inside this valve assembly I'll show you in a minute that has a packing in it that prevents chemical from leaking back this way so if you ever have leakage right here where this cable comes out of the valve body it's an indication that that gasket or that packing is bad this piece here is removed and that's the piece I was telling you about that's mated and fits into a gasket that's in that bottom part or the back part of the valve assembly. So we're going to lay these out in order in which they were removed. Now that allows us to be able to now remove the barrel from the pump or the valve assembly. What I like to use, and I don't, you know, a lot of people are very uh, uh, concerned about marring this surface, and I don't want them, I don't want to mess it up either. So what I'll do is I'll put a towel in the jaws of this vise. I don't have to screw it down very hard, but I need to hold it firmly. And I'll use a 21 millimeter wrench to loosen this nut. And now this whole assembly will come out of the valve body. So we'll lay that there for just a second. Obviously we want to keep up with all of these pieces. These can all be serviced. We have all these parts available. But they're very necessary to prevent leakage where the valve body attaches to the lance barrel. So that's a serviceable piece that's replaceable. Now. I've already got this pre-loosened, but this portion of the lance barrel can be put into the vise or held by a wrench, but that allows me to remove the four-way nozzle and pull the cable out of the barrel. 